Hi folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And welcome to Two Guys in a Ride. Today, we are with our friends at Luther Mankato Honda. And we're going to take a look at this 2019 Honda Passport. This is the Elite trim and it has all-wheel drive. The athletic, streamlined styling makes a distinct impression, whether on the street or in the great outdoors. The gloss black grille and LED low beam headlights on the Sport and EXL and LED headlights on Touring and Elite, both with LED fog lights. Now there are LED brake lights, however, the turn signal is incandescent. There's also an available torque vectoring all-wheel drive, full-wheel drive independent suspension and intelligent traction management system. This vehicle has 20 inch wheels on all trims and all season tires up to 265-45 R20 with 8.1 inches of ground clearance. Also has the rear privacy glass, the capless fuel filter, Approach and departure angles, approach angles 21.4 degrees, departure angles 27.6 degrees. This rides on 111 inch wheelbase and its overall length is 190.5 inches. You can see that it is a little shorter than its cousin, the Pilot. They did trim six and a half inches off the rear of this vehicle because you're not using the third row seat. You can see the dual exhaust, the integrated parking sensors. As you can see inside behind the second row seats, there is 50 cubic feet of cargo capacity because you don't have that third row seat. You see in the back, there is the uh, button to lower the second row seats and it's right back there at the tailgate. One button on each side. Now with those seats folded down, you have 100 cubic feet of storage space. You have a little storage cubby on the side, a power outlet as well, a couple of hooks, have a little storage cubby there, again a couple of hooks, and then underneath we have additional hideaway storage. Uh, it's a pretty big area, hold lots of things, or you know it's plastic lined so it could hold uh, wet gear, swimsuits, uh, shoes, muddy shoes. You see the compact spare tire is located inside the vehicle, that's the fuel filler funnel. Try to say that three times real fast. And then you can see you have yet even more uh, storage, it's plastic line that you can uh, put wet things in. Makes it a really handy area. Lots of room back there for gear, for bikes, uh, for anything you want to do. You could actually lay down and sleep back there uh, if you're taking this off road and you uh, need uh, space inside, maybe where it's colder outside or whatever, but that's uh, really quite a bit of storage capacity, cargo capacity back there. Okay, the Passport is powered by a three and a half liter, 24 valve V6 producing 280 horsepower and 262 foot pound of torque. Also has echo assist and variable cylinder management. EPA mileage ratings are 25 city, uh, excuse me, 20 city, 25 highway. Towing capacity on the front wheel drive versions of this vehicle is 3,500 pounds. However, the all wheel drive will tow up to 5,000 pounds. You can see the available uh, roof rails for uh, carrying gear and those will hold up to 165 pounds of weight for additional cargo. See the turn signals in the rear view mirrors. As for the styling, you can see that floating roof design and you've got a couple of different uh, body side uh, lines on this vehicle that I like. I like the black plastic uh, cladding around the wheel wells and the base of the doors. Gives it more of an off-road sporty look. Helps also for scuffs and scrapes. Hard to kind of see the body lines on this particular vehicle because of the um, white. And there again, there's that floating roof design that integrates nicely into the rear spoiler that uh, helps keep the back window clean. Okay, like I was saying before, you can see the nice piano gloss black trim uh, from headlight to headlight. This does have a unique grille uh, that is unique to the Passport, and then you see the flat matte black 
uh, cladding at the bottom of the grill. I like the lines on the hood. It gives you the definition uh, with a little bit uh, more structure and uh, uh, cuts and body lines. I like the integrated headlights. Again, the trim piece from headlight to headlight. And then you can see as the grill kind of flows down into the bumper, then you've got your turn signals and fog lights with the integrated uh, parking sensors. Nice cohesive design, nice cut lines to give it some definition and of course structure to the, to the hood up front. LED running lights, uh, the multi LED headlights. I like the attention to detail there, that unique grill again, very nicely done. I like the black trim along the windows. I love the little detail. That's not really a window, a vent window that goes up and down, but it is a little vent window that gives you more visibility, uh, brings more light into the cabin. Uh, really, it's a nice addition. I like all the black trim around the windows. Really goes well with the, uh, the black, uh, the white on this particular vehicle, but I gotta tell you, we drove an actual black on black, uh, triple black. Uh, Beautiful vehicle uh, inside as well. You can see the rear integrated parking sensors. I like the skid plate in the back. It's the glossy piano black and then you have the matte black uh, trim around the bumper. That's a nice contrast as well. And you have your backup lights in the bumper and then you can see your turn lights and brake lights. Love those gloss black wheels. All right, so here we are with the 2019 Honda Passport, brand new this year. And so we're gonna start with just taking a look at the uh, driver's door here. You've got a nice uh, sort of a piano black accent right there. You got your memory seat settings here. You have a new normal power windows and lock on lock and a lockout for the windows. Moving down here, you've got some nice storage underneath here along with a cup holder. And then you have your uh, trunk release and your fuel filler release right there and then you have some additional storage down in here. Moving over to the driver's seat, you have an eight-way power plus a two-position uh, two lumbar, so a total of 10-way power seat. Um, coming over here, you got your hood release down here and your emergency brake. You do have a nice foot rest for your left foot. Moving up a little bit, you got your power folding mirrors and your adjustments for your left right outside, out, right outside mirrors. You do have an economy button. It's not one that I normally push, but it is there for those of you who like to drive economically. Down here, you have parking sensors you can turn on or off. Your collision, collision mitigation braking system, you can turn on or off there. And when you push that button, it shows up in the dashboard. You just have to push and hold. And then it shows up, as now it's off, and I'll push and hold it again. And there it goes off, or it goes on, I mean. <laughs> Down here you have your lane, or your road departure mitigation system, and that one, uh, for some reason, comes with a nice LED button that just lights right up. It also does show up on your dashboard. Trash control on or off. This does have a tilt and telescoping wheel, so if you pull on this lever right here, you will be able to, let me see if I can show you this. I can tilt it in, I can push it in, telescope it in, telescope it out, or adjust it up or down. Uh, moving uh, back to the seat here, you have really nice perforated leather seats here. This is a heated and cooled seat. They are very comfortable. Moving over to the uh, center dashboard, uh, you have a seven inch infotainment screen and that has got uh, 540 watts of power including and seven speakers, including a subwoofer. You do have a manual on off and volume control button. Moving down further, you have a tri-zone climate control system, push button start. Here are your heated and cooled seat buttons right here. Three stage, got a nice little cubby right here to put stuff in. And my, one of my favorite things, a wireless charger right here. And then just above that, you have a 12 volt power outlet and then a USB port that will not only charge your phone, but will hook you into Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Got two nice cup holders. This particular model, the cup holders are illuminated. Your shifter is in the center console. And it's just a push for park, uh, pull for reverse, push for neutral, push for drive or sport mode. 
And then this is your driving mode up here. I'll press and show you the dashboard, but you've got snow, uh, mud. I love the graphics that they put in. Uh, you got sand or normal. Uh, moving down here to the center console storage area, if you slide this back, you have an additional uh, USB port and uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack input for the stereo. And as well as, I get my hand in the right spot, a 12 volt outlet. And this includes a nice sliding tray right here, as, long as, a, as well as a fairly deep uh, storage compartment. This does come with a power moonroof, so if I just take it, we'll slide this back here. Sits right here, and if I look up here above the dashboard, above the mirror, I can, if I push this button, I can slide it back. If I push it forward, I can slide it forward. And if I push, just push on it, it'll tilt it up. And I push again, and it lowers it. Here you've got your link button for Honda. And you've got an assist button that kind of kind of like a fighter pilot's thing. You just open that up and you can push it. SOS. You get your map reading lights. And then if you push this down, you've got a sunglass holder as well as a conversation mirror. You do have your blind spot warning right here. Moving over to the passenger side, starting with the door. You've got your normal uh, power window and uh, lock on lock buttons. You have a little bit of extra storage here along with a cup holder here. Again, kind of the same as the driver's side. A nice little storage bin here and another deeper one underneath here. The passenger seat does come with uh, four-way power. So it's straight forward, straight back, and then you can tilt the back seat. Okay? The nice perforated leather seats. Again, they're heated and cooled. And then uh, I, I really like the, uh, the trim here again with the black piano color coming up on here you got the nice stitching on the dashboard right here you do have two little uh, what would be the tweeters right up here in the front for your speakers and the ones on the other side and then you have a glove compartment here moving over to the rear of the vehicle you have two cup holders right here along with your power window and you have a little bit of storage right in here and you have some more storage here and here as well so quite a bit of storage in the rear door you do have storage pockets in the back of the passenger seat and the driver's seat. And each one of them has an extra little storage area right here for something smaller. You have back here control of your climate system as well as your heated seats. Three stages on either side. You do have two USB inputs as well as a 150 watt plug-in down here. The seats themselves do fold and if you pull this handle it'll automatically pull it all the way forward and flat so that it's flat and even with the bed it will also if I can show you this um, well I'll show you where the seat is so you can see where it's aligned right here but it does recline as well so there you can see a little bit of difference there where it reclined it was flat before now it's reclined just a little bit the center part right here the center part of the seat does pull forward. If you just reach your hand in here, give a little pull, flattens right out as another armrest and a dual cup holder. You do have an adjustable headrest right here that you can pull up for a third person sitting here. And then the, uh, the windows have uh, shades, standard shades here. So I'll show you. Just like on this one here, it's the same on the other side. You just lift it up. And they hook right in. Nice to have on hot days in the summer. All right, and then up here above the passengers in the rear, you have a dome light. All right, so sitting in the back seat right here, I'm going to show you just a little bit about how much uh, leg room I have. I haven't changed the seat at all. I'm uh, five foot eleven and a half. Um, I have got plenty of headroom. All right, and I'll show you my knee room right here. You can see I have probably six inches. I made the comment, uh, and I'll comment on it later when we take the drive, uh, but just how spacious this whole vehicle feels, despite its size. Um, and it's, it's very comfortable, and I can tell you, the heated seats are really nice in the rear. I'm kind of enjoying this. 
I, this would be a really, a, a really nice added comfort for passengers. All right, so that is the back seat. Uh, phone on and phone off, and then your voice command button. Okay, so here we are. We're going to take a ride in the 2019 Honda Passport Elite. And if you remember a little history lesson here on the Honda Passport, um, back years ago, the name was uh, uh, introduced with Honda, uh, but it was just a rebadged uh, Isuzu product. But I think that had to do with all of the tariffs and import rules at the time. Uh, so Honda needed an SUV. What they did, they just contracted, oh, they just contracted with um, Isuzu to put a Honda badge on the front of their vehicle because at the time Honda was selling so many cars they couldn't import uh, SUVs and Isuzu I guess had capacity so that's why they badge engineered an Isuzu. This is nothing at all like that Isuzu. Actually the dashboard and the layout and the look uh, do extremely very closely resemble that of the pilot. But it But does, I feel farther away from everything. It does I mean, feel a little bit different. It, it, roomier is what right. I, is the correct terminology. Right. <laughs> Got the sunroof here. This does have if you notice it's really quiet, it's zero RPMs. It does have the automatic start stop. I've got that engaged. You can turn it off right down here on the uh, center console there. Yep. And Nathan will show you that. Yeah, the, the, but, the buttons are laid out in a very similar fashion, which makes it easy to, you know, go from one to the other. But, you know, for being a smaller vehicle, I'm just kind of looking back here, and it, it yeah. man, as far as, the you know, the front and, and the second row passengers go, because there is obviously no third seat in this vehicle, um, it's roomy. It does not, it, it is smaller, but it doesn't feel that way for the passengers. No. One of the things I've noticed so far, and it's not a big deal, but I can tell that the vehicle does seem a little lighter than the pilot, is that in the uh, seams in the road, I can feel a little bit more of the suspension. And that may be, again, because this is geared more as a four-wheel drive off-road type of vehicle, so maybe it's a heavier duty and a different setup uh, to where you get more of the road feel. Uh, because of the way this vehicle is more geared towards sport and adventure versus, again, a family hauler like the three-row uh, SUV that the, is the pilot. I like the nice, comfortable steering wheel. It rides incredibly smooth. Uh, it's very quiet in here as well. How's your comfort over there as a passenger? You know, I like it. I just discovered my armrest. I, I really do like that. You know, since there isn't a tall center console in the mm -hmm. middle, and I like that. And just like the other Hondas, it adjusts the same way. It kind of comes full forward. It's got that ratcheting right? adjustment. Right, and then you bring it up a little bit, and then it's locked into place. Right. Um, I, I, I do like that. That is really nice. Okay, well, I could keep driving this all day long. It is that comfortable. And I, I am reluctantly going to let Nathan drive. So here we go. Oh, I love these it is, seats. The seats are nice. I, I don't know what it is about them, but the bolstering on the sides is pleasant. The... Uh, the, this one at least has a lumbar adjust in the back, but I felt one on that side too, and I don't know if that's just the way the seat is built, but it was very comfortable. I really liked it. I, I like I like how on the left side where your window controls are, that little support there is, is up high enough that it feels comfortable to rest your arm just, on while you're driving. Yeah, it just falls naturally there. Yep. It's not too low or too high. It's just no. it's very comfortable. <laughs> Boy, that's got some nice little low-end grunt on it, doesn't it? It does. I, uh, it's it, it was very stampy, and I like that snarl. Yeah. So that was nice to hear your uh, exhaust a little bit when you just step on it. Just enough there to not be totally intrusive in the interior, but to give you a sense of, oh, yeah, this baby's got some kick. Yep. No, I, I really like the feel. I, I like the steering. I like the seating. I, I really like, I don't know, I keep talking about that distance from the dash. And I don't know why I feel that way in this car, but it's just nice. It's very pleasant. The dashboard is kind of very flat and it has a little curve to it, but at, the visibility is really nice. That's it. It's a low dash to where you can see out, you can see the hood, and it does, it gives you that airy open feeling. It takes a little bit getting used to that uh, engine auto starts, stop. Uh, yeah. Um, but the thing that I like about it, I mean, I've seen some cars with this, and uh, I, I like the fact on the Hondas that the motor restarts the minute you take your foot off the brake, and it doesn't wait for you to step on the accelerator. Mm. 
Okay, we got oh, hey, we got some got snow. snow here, so okay. we'll get to play with the four wheel drive. And I didn't so, know so it, I mean, we're in a little bit of a snow field here, so I'm just trying to. And, went, and what are we going about? Right about 12. And if I crank on the wheel and just kind of keep the throttle steady, the all the safety systems are just keeping the truck right in line, not allowing you to slide in, you know, very much at all. Um, you know, they're kicking in. That's okay. You got to go the other way now because I'm dizzy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't want to get robbed too dizzy. You gotta unwind me. Unwind. Okay, hang on. We'll unwind. We're gonna go through probably about uh, six inches of snow now, and I would just say, just follow it right through. Yep. And just keep going. We are riding some tracks here, and we're getting quite deep. Gonna make it. And we are making it. Yes, we are. This four -wheel is probably, drive. The four-wheel drive is kicking in. What do you think that is? Eight? I think Nine we're inches? I think we're sitting in a foot of snow, Rob. We're oh we're we're not in eight inches. We're oh, like okay. in a foot of snow. Right, that so way. here we go. We're going we're going back through this one here. And Yeah, I think you're right. That's a good foot of snow. Yeah. And this is a parking lot that's been abandoned for a while and it hasn't been plowed and this thing is just going right through with no issues whatsoever. All right, little kick up of the snow, and here she goes, just going right through. Yep, just going right through it. No and issues, no here, sliding, here, no here hesitation. We are at the end. Oof. Boom. All right, so there you go, a little off road. Right. I think you know. I think overall for me, it's just um, I'm amazed at how roomy it feels. Yeah. Um, it does. I don't feel like I'm. I mean, I can look out the front and realize I'm not driving a, a large SUV. Mm -hmm. But from the inside, with the space and everything, it seems like I am. Right. You've got the space inside of the roominess, but it feels the way it handles, the way it turns, as maneuverable as it is, it feels a lot, a lot smaller than it actually is, because there's a lot of cargo and a lot of passenger volume in this vehicle. So Nathan, we always talk about now what our favorite item is. Have you decided what your favorite one thing on this vehicle is? I have. Okay, and I have too, and we'll show you that in just a few minutes. But for right now, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and what else? Pinterest Twitter. and Twitter and all the, you name it, we're almost out there on every one. I else. like the you name it. Oh, and the you name, yeah, you name that is com. that is a you name it that that is a great <laughs> channel there. Favorite feature, you know, I like the details, so I'm going to show you. And that was just one of our GoPro <laughs> phone holders dropping out of the uh, the windshield. So <laughs> I'm going to show you uh, attention to detail, and that's in the seat pattern here. Uh, these are actually uh, heated and cooled, but it's really cool. I like the um, the diamond pattern that's here, and these are leather seats, and you can see that they. Um, they do have a, a cool diamond pattern. So that's, again, attention to detail. Those are small little things that I like, and that is my favorite thing on the vehicle. Is the built-in wireless phone charger. I love those things. That's I'm great. I'm hoping to see more of them in every vehicle as, as just sort of a standard as technology develops, but that that's, is so nice. That's what I was gonna say.